Do you have an old R9 390 that needs some new thermal paste? Well, I mean, of course it's old. They're not exactly making new ones. One of the things that sacrifices performance more than any other thing on older hardware is thermal compound. So today I'm gonna to show you real quick how to take this apart, put new paste on, get it back together, and increase its performance. First off, you're on the wrong side. Flip that sucker over to the back plate. This R9 390 is from MSI, so we have to take off all the screws. So we have the four main ones that connect directly down onto the die, and then we have these others that hold the back plate into the board. Everything's gotta come off. You know how to use a screwdriver, so I'm gonna cut here and come back when that thing's done. All your silver screws are out, so your back plate will lift right up just like that, showing the back of the board. Next, you're gonna take out these four screws right here. This one has a warranty void sticker here on it, so this tells me two things. Well, first thing to tell you, your warranty probably expired with a car to this age, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Second thing, because that sticker is not broken, means the thermal compound has never been changed on here, which means we definitely need to get it done. Now with all of our screws out, it's time for the separation. The old thermal compound on there might provide some resistance. You might need to pull, twist a little bit, gentle but firm. All right, there we go. So this one right here, this, uh, this plug came undone during the separation. We're gonna go ahead and get this other one here on the corner as well. Nice and gently. Come on, don't fight me. There we go. All right, you're separate. Now there's two things that we're gonna do to each section, doesn't matter which order you do it in. We're going to clean off the thermal compound on the card and the cooler. And while we have it open, we're also gonna take a second with some canned air and dust this sucker out. There's no better time than now to do that. So the way that you're going to do that is when I clean these, I always take a razor blade and just take that right off because there's nothing on this that you're gonna hurt when you do that. It's a nice clean removal and then you can use a Q-tip along with some rubbing alcohol to finish that up. As for this side, do not do that. Gently, with a Q-tip, clean this off, all right? Don't go too nuts, just be thorough. Don't use any other devices on this. Once that's done, take your canned air, hit all these spots in here, hit the VRMs here, hit the thermal pads up here, get all of that cleaned out before we put on our new application of thermal paste. Once you have everything clean, it's time to put on your thermal compound. I go with Arctic Silver. It's relatively inexpensive and highly rated on Newegg. Now, lots of people recommend different things. What I do is I put a couple lines down and then I use the spreader. I like to make sure that the surface is completely covered before I put the cooler on. Some people just put like a little pea-sized bit right in the middle and then let the natural compression of your cooler spread it out. But like I said, I like to make sure, but I'm gonna leave that totally up to you. All right, with your application of thermal paste in, it's time to get your cooler back on, which you have already cleaned. And this is going to go right, huh, move these into frame. This is gonna go right onto here. So you have your cooling pads here, you have everything lined up. These right here are gonna sink into there. That's when you know you have it and you're gonna do those screws first. Make sure that you get these plugged in as you go. Uh, especially this one is going to be pretty much impossible to plug in. Uh, sorry, words. This one's gonna be pretty much impossible to plug in once you have it set. So while it's still elevated, get this plugged in and then compress. All right, so we've got those plugged in now. And those are set into place. Now we have to screw those in. 
When you do, do not tighten it all the way down and then tighten the next one all the way down and so on and so forth. Think of it like you're doing lug nuts on a tire, okay? Get them all in, tighten them down evenly so that you don't squish all the thermal paste out to one side. Now that you have those fastened down, it's time for you to put your back plate back on. If you have it lined up properly, which <laughs> I did not just now, those screws will line up and so will all these holes. Do the same thing. And there we have it. Everything has been fastened and we're good to go. Now I actually have a build that is ready and waiting for this to go into, so that's what I'm going to do right now. But uh, don't worry, <laughs> if it blows up, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching, hope this helped if you have one of these cards. And uh, you might not have one of these cards exactly, but the process is fairly standard. So if you have a different card, just remember, it's gonna be about the same. But thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Bye.